these are the stories of Janet and John. So, boldly go where only the bewildered dare. Janet and John go to the opticians. Today, Janet and John are going to the opticians. Do you know what an optician is? An optician tells you if you need glasses. John needs glasses. John sat on his glasses and broke them. <laughs> Silly John. Janet leaves John at the opticians and goes off to the wool shop. Janet likes knitting. See the unwelcome Christmas presents. <laughs> I'll see you in the wool shop, says Janet. See, John waved to Janet. John thinks he sees Mrs. Passy. It's a new one. Hello, Mrs. Passy, says John. Hello, Mr. Marsh, says Mrs. Passy. What fun. John shows Mrs. Passy his broken glasses. Mrs. Passy says, don't worry, we'll mend them while you wait. It looks like they'll need new arms. We'll give you some stronger ones that won't break so easily. We're saving money here, I like this. <laughs> Thank you, says John. See John sit in the chair and wait. While John is waiting, he sees a very small tree on the window ledge. Mrs. Passy says, Do you like bonsai trees, Mr. Marsh? Yes, says John. Mrs. Passy says, I have several more in the office. Would you like to see them? Yes, please, says John. See John looking at the very small trees. If you like, says Mrs. Passy, you can help me trim this one. It's a Douglas fir. Thank you, says John. That would be nice. See John trimming the small tree with a pair of scissors. Are you allowed to use scissors? <laughs> I've had this one since I was 14. <laughs> uh, yeah. Says Mrs. Passy. Yes, <laughs> says John. John sees Janet in the wool shop and meets her at the door. Hello, Janet, says John. Janet says, did you get your glasses repaired? Yes, says John. Mrs. Passy told me I've nice strong arms now, and while I was there, she showed me the little fur she'd been growing since she was a teenager, and she let me trim it into an interesting shape with some scissors. <laughs> oh, she, Janet, slammed John's head in the wool shop door. Hear the shop bell ring. Ding-a-ling, ding-a-ling, 